On today's episode of Mommy's Boy, we discover the real meaning behind Soggy Biscuit. The real meaning behind Au Coron. And how to get over ruining your ex's life. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and poultry... Wow, that is poultry... <laughs> poultry to do this. Poultritudinous? Poultritudinous. Is that right? Yeah. What the heck does that mean? It looks like a chicken. Is that what it means? I think not. Poultry. I don't know what it means. It looks like a 1500s chicken. It's a. uh, Tudor. I don't know. It's a very, very old word. There must be a reason for it being Uh, there. Having great physical beauty. Oh, wow. Oh, producer Jack. Mrs. Bless him. Mrs. Poltradunius. Poltradunius. <laughs> God, you can't even say it. <laughs> oh, wow. Say Just call hello. Me chicken. Say hello, Mum. Oh, hello. How are we? Oh, good. Fabulous. Don't care. No. Deep down, oh. I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in yes. this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Mm. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my mum can't get her head around indeed so i'm here to help her before the modern world leaves her behind you're so kind not only will i help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age but i'll also be making lisa's motherly wisdom available every time i I gain a lisp in that sentence you can't do it i'll be making lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well so if you're in need of (laughs) advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for arthur's mum to read slide into our dms on socials at mummy's boy pod or send us a message or even a voice note to whatsapp on 07822 013837 and no matter what the issue i will ask in a feature i'd like to call mum can we talk oh i think oh and don't forget you can still buy tickets to the first ever Mummy's Boy live show at the 2024 podcast show London on the 22nd of May with very special guests George Clark and Arthur TV. Aww. Just head to at Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in the bio. Yes, please do. Come, come and watch us. Come and make what? eyes at me down at the old bull and bush. Da, 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 You're singing da. already. Sorry, that just yeah. came from come, come. It, wow, okay. <laughs> Jeez, actually, that is really freaky. But anyway, uh, Arthur... Don't we all, really? (laughs) Don't we all? Um, Don't we all what? Come from come. Yeah, anyway. Yes. Oh, anyway, gross. Well, come on. That's what we're all laughing at. Anyway. I wasn't. I was laughing at my old musical song. Okay. Arthur, may I ask you a question before we continue? Yes. What on earth are you wearing and why are you dressed up? I work two jobs now. I'm a driver. (laughs) You're and a, a podcaster. I see. And a TikToker, three. And a musician, four. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Jack of all trades again. And, no, um, yes. I'm, I'm wearing my finest. This is genuinely my finest. I haven't is worn it? a suit since prom. <laughs> I've never had an occasion to wear a suit. It, so I have sort of cobbled this together. Yes. Um, it could have. Yeah, I'd haven't, uh, yeah, it hasn't I haven't seen an iron, has yeah, it? Yeah, it hasn't seen an iron. Um, but I thought I would dress up because we have a very special guest today. Oh, ah! I wouldn't say known Ooh. for dressing up. That makes him sound like a cosplayer or something. But um, <laughs> I, I wanted to impress him. Let's put oh, it that way. Oh. Yes. Mm. And I think it's going to be a cracker of an episode. Uh, do you? And I've, of course, written a speech. Oh, excellent. We love your speeches. Well, um, here it comes. On the show today, oh. we have a man who has never put an elbow on a table. Oh, God. Never turned over his fork. Never felt the grease of a burger trickle down his hand after oh. taking too big of a bite. He is proper. He is polite. Oh, God. It's William Hanson. Oh, gosh. Hello. 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 How are you? What a, thank you. What a lovely introduction. Oh, no. My pleasure. <laughs> Hello. My pleasure. It's lovely to meet both of you. And, and you. you. Heard quite a lot about both of you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I wasn't warned about the suit. No. No. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think it's lovely. You can buy clothes in supermarkets these days. <laughs> make it look lovely. <laughs> ah, yes. Damn well it. done. Maybe we should go suit shopping together. I, would, I honestly oh, would love would that. Would you like that? Yes, yes. I would love that. I that would, would be I, I splendid. need a new suit, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> You're you looking just... gorgeous, though, Lisa. Oh, what, in my second-hand shop shirt? Well, I didn't know that until you said well, that. Well, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. That's no. true. Mm. But, you know, it, yes. But it looks new. 
Do you think it does? Mm. Oh, yes, thank very you. au courant. Very Ooh. watty? Very au courant, very trendy. Au courant. Is it? Yes. Au, au courant? Yeah. Is that what one says? Au current, I think. Is au current. <laughs> if you weren't doing if you French. Weren't doing French. French. Yeah, exactly. I'm loving that. Au courant. Mm. Au courant. Au yeah, courant. no, it's very nice. Oh. Wow. But it's no, well. it's, it's, it's lovely. The, the tie, I, think, I would have done a different coloured tie. Yes, no, yes. That, that's, you do again, like it's the only tie. But I think I, when the blazer is ironed, I, I do think it's quite trendy when I wear it with other you things. You iron the blazer? Not a uh, steamed. Steamed. Okay, steamed, fine. Sorry, Good. Steamed. I wouldn't put an iron no, to No, no, no. <laughs> no. No, I steam it. I steam All it. that I polyester. Wore this, I wore this blazer... <laughs> <laughs> I wore this blazer on my tour, actually, on stage. Did you? And Is I that got the lots one of compliments. You were wearing? So yeah, I it wore, looked I mean, so cool. I wonder what your. Of, I wore a vest mm. underneath with a blazer on top. Mm. Gosh. Mm. Gosh. Uh, well, it's a look, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you look gorgeous. Thank you. He yes. did actually. Look, I did get did a lot he? of. Yeah, yes, it looked really that swanky. That is, I would dare say, encore. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at I you. You're practically bilingual. <laughs> Which is nice. It I'm is. going to Paris, actually. No, I would have been to Paris. Oh. I would have been to Paris. Oh, okay. And I loved it. Well, can you, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it was very... Au courant. Au courant. Au courant. Au courant. Au courant. When did you go to Paris, Arthur? Because I have just been to Paris as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I went about a month ago. Oh, right. <laughs> I can't work out what dates they were. <laughs> but... When you next go, and if yes. you need any tips, I actually do. Oh. I am looking for recommendations for when you go next. For when I go next, mm. yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, we'll yeah. chat after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all very complicated, um, isn't it? Yes, God, I'm very, I'm very excited to have you here, William. I really oh. am. Um, I got nervous shaking your hand just now. Did you? Because I wondered if you were you sort were of doing it wrong, analyzing me. I didn't notice anything about it, which probably okay. is a good thing. And I thing. also was had apples. So I was like, oh no, what if my Oh. Well, there's some apple on my hand or... <gasps> Feel a trace of cocks on your hand, which is a type of apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Yes, obviously. exactly. Yes. But I realise we haven't, we haven't really delved deep into what you do in terms of my mother, who is obviously clueless. Mm. Um, who is obviously clueless. Obviously yes. clueless. How kind. But, but exquisitely dressed. Yes, exquisitely. Mm. Mm. Would you rather be exquisitely knowledgeable and badly dressed? Oh. Or exquisitely dressed and... Clueless. Clueless, thank you. I think I'd rather be knowledgeable, to be mm. honest. Mm. Well, you're ticking both boxes. No, you, yeah. you old so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I mean... Would, yeah, so... I just want to ask mm. William. Yes. So you're wearing navy blue. Yes. You see, if I wore that, it would be covered in dog hair and I wouldn't be able to get <laughs> the bits off. I thought you were How about to like. I thought keep... you were about to go in on the combo there. I got really nervous. No. I was like, so you're wearing navy blue on light blue. <laughs> oh, that is a crime. <laughs> no, I no. I'm I'm staggered at how very very clean it is. Your top is, yeah. which well, makes me quite upset because I just would always love to be I immaculate, and I mm. very rarely am. Oh well. That's very kind of you. No, um, I gave this a, a heavy lint rolling this morning. Heavy <laughs> lint rolling? Yes. Mm. Okay, so what's the best... Oh, you're allowed to say brands. Oh, Is yes. there a good lint roller? No, no. An anything sort of just rolling anything sticky. I like the chocolates. <laughs> you, no, that, that, oh. not that lint, you <laughs> silly boy. No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a lint roller. Yeah. Mm. But that's... I mean, to be fair, not much came off the lint roller this you morning. Not. It you don't in... have pets, do you? No. I had a dog growing up. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Not no, anymore. I Not anymore. No. Cause... Dead. Yeah. Oh, dead. Yeah, died. Yeah. And never yes. again? Um, well, it was my family dog, so it wasn't right. sort of my personal dog. Mm. I'd quite like a corgi. Really? Because I think it would <laughs> suit the vibe. Would. Yes. But I don't <laughs> lead the lifestyle to look after a dog at the moment. So. No, maybe later. Yes, exactly. Yes, mm. in Here, your dotage. Ever. Exactly. Mm. Yes, like the Queen Mum. Just like, mm. yes, cool. sit there with fag in hand and a couple of corgis. <laughs> He's called my husband. He's called Mike, if, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> you don't have to have <laughs> him in your hand. <laughs> Start the car. <laughs> wow. So I, all I know about you, William, mm. is that you are an etiquette expert. Yes. Which I love. The title in itself <laughs> mm. is splendid enough for etiquette me. And, and I have seen... One little video. Oh, oh, yes, Have in you? one of our very first podcasts. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. When you were talking about the correct way to eat an olive. Oh gosh, <laughs> which was all very interesting. Yes. Um, but so it, 
So, yes, can you expand? <laughs> <laughs> like, how can it be a lifetime's work yeah. telling people how to behave? Do you there... work for HMRC, can I ask? <laughs> this is a very similar conversation I have each year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am terribly sorry. OK, no, 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 no. Uh, so, yes, etiquette uh, coach. So I train people all over the world um, in how to behave, basically, giving them confidence, in effect. So when they go into a different social or professional environment... Yes. They sort of know what to do what and they can do. they can focus on what actually matters, which is sort of building the relationships with whoever they're talking to. Yes. And not sort and of not worrying about the going into a complete cold sweat about how to eat an olive or something <laughs> like that. Indeed. Mm. And how and how on earth do you get into doing that? Well, that is, yeah, there are many different ways for different people. For me, it was complete accident. Um, I was given an etiquette book by my grandmother when I was twelve. Christmas. As you do. Yes. Have you watched Downton Abbey? I have. Yes. Yeah, so yes. picture Maggie Smith's character and yes. just a little bit grander than that. That was wow. my grandmother. That was your grandmother. Mm. And she thought Fabulous. this etiquette book would appeal to my precocity, which it did. Which it did. And I started to buy more books on the subject. And then when I was uh, 16 at my school, one of the teachers came up to me on the road and said, we're looking for someone to teach the young years how to set a table next Tuesday. Wow. Do you think you could do it? And I said, well, does that mean I don't need to do rugby? And <laughs> oh, bless you. They said, yes. I was like, fantastic. Sign yes. me up. Yes. And basically, 17 and a half years later, here I am today. Wow. No one stopped me. I have no other talent. So, uh, well, oh, it's probably not enough time true. to fit in any other no. talent. Well, that's very kind of I you. I would say. Yes. There's too much etiquette to be taught. The, well, exactly. But that's mm. the other thing. So, and is it just, is there a, um, is there a British etiquette? Mm. And is there an etiquette that, so if you're going, to, do you know about, like, if people were visiting, I don't know, China? Yes. You would be able to instruct them in the, or yes. is that too, In Chinese? No, no, not in, not okay. in Chinese. I wasn't or, going to go that far. Or Mandarin. No. Um, not not in that. Um, but I would. I've been to China quite a lot. I'm very big in the Asia Pacific region. Are and you? Yes. And <laughs> I, I didn't want to say. Would, thank you. <laughs> these genes. I would. I don't sort of go and teach the Chinese how to behave in China. Because no. There's because someone they else know. to do that. Mm. Yes. But I can, I know enough about Chinese etiquette. So if you were going to China, mm -hmm. either of you, I could You'd say, in to... the West, this is correct. But actually over there, yes. don't do that. Yes. So I can do it from that point of view. Fascinating. But predominantly what I teach is British or Western etiquette. It's, it's really exciting. It's a fun job. Yeah. I'm glad I, I do this. I bet it is. Because I don't really know what else I would do. Well, that's marvellous then. Yes. Exactly. Thank yeah. So God. thank heavens we're here. And obviously yes. now you've kind of got, you know, you do the podcast. Mm, and yes. Television appearances and all this stuff. Yeah. Do you, are there, do you still kind of just do like bookings to teach? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So one of my very first agents, the lovely Sue Ryder, not the hospice. Uh, she just was called Sue Ryder, different <laughs> spelling. Um, but she did used to get lots of phone calls from people saying, what do I do with my old sofa? And it's like it's a completely different Sue Ryder. Anyway. Um <laughs> She always said to me, and I tried to take this um, nicely, she didn't mean it as, it's, as barbed as it sounds, never give up the day job. Mm. Yes. And yes. she wasn't meaning you've got no, you know, yeah. don't, don't, no. you're not going to win but it's this, not this industry. But it gives authority thing. to what you do. Yeah. It's, yeah. You, know, you, it's, you don't want to just be a gob for hire on TV. You actually sort of want to, and also it's such a fickle industry as we mm -hmm. all know. Indeed. You actually need to have a little bit of sort of substance. Mm. Indeed. Yes, so I do still do that, yes. Good. It was my birthday, and I would have loved to have booked you. Okay, well, we do courses throughout um, the year. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to invite my friends to like think there was a dinner party, just a yes. normal dinner party, and then... Oh, and then mm. William is because there. Because I feel like yeah. I have a lot of etiquette to be taught, because my mum failed in this department. Obviously. You know, posture okay. at the dinner table, terrible. Well, you're sitting up very I am now nice. because I'm conscious of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's really hurting my back. <laughs> you just, I want you to relax. Okay. Not that much. No. But I'd like you to, yeah, yeah. yeah just no, this be is comfortable. A medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a medium. Um, mm. Yes. Mm. I always used to have my elbows on the table. 
I noticed oh. earlier, oh. just before I came on, because you said about elbows on the mm. table and you whipped your arms I off. I did, didn't but I? You didn't but have I was your... only like that. Yes, and that's fine. And that's fine. Because your elbows are off the table it's anyway. That, it's isn't that, it? whilst there is food on the table, mm. is the okay. no no. That's the no no. But that is absolutely fine. I'm so which you're glad. just resting your, your forearms on the table. Wrist. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was going to, well, I had a good question, I, I think, anyway. Oh, go on then. Do you have to switch off sometimes? Um, you know, can, can you switch off? No, because I think it's sort of, it's a bit like it's muscle memory. It, right. If you just do it and it becomes I guess habit. more so when around people. If you're, if you, yes, you know, when you're, you're watching other people. drinks at the pub, everyone's getting a bit drunk. No, I don't you know? go. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You just don't go. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yeah, they're a good yeah. answer. Oh. You yeah. don't have to go to everything. No. Or no. indeed, in my case, anything. <laughs> Ray, and do, do you think part of the reason for not going mm. is because you're going to be seeing behaviours that are abhorrent? Uh, or just because no, you're antisocial? No, no, no. No. no, I'm just quite antisocial. Are you? Mm. Yeah, I'm not a very good evening person. If Invite right. me out for breakfast... Yes. Best person. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm a very, very morning person. Okay. But, but come the, the evening, evening, I'd rather just be watching Fraser at home. I'm so you home. like to be at home of an evening in your gym jam? No, you don't do gym jams. Do you Not do really. Slippers? Do you, I almost oh, I picture you, you, I picture you in sort of Scrooge-esque. Oh, um, Arthur. Pajamas. No, what, like Not, a nightgown? You don't look like, yes, yeah, sorry, no, that's what I should have said. And a little A hat. nice nightgown. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, I do do pyjamas. That's just reminded me of another thing. Watch, oh, go, go for it. I watched one of your videos and recently, earlier, today, in mm. fact, <laughs> and it was, you You said people wrongly call desserts desserts. Yes. They're not desserts, oh. they're puddings. Yeah. And I oh. found that interesting. Because dessert is something separate, traditionally. Oh. I mean, it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of an interchangeable word now. But dessert was the fruit course that would follow the sweet course, wow. the pudding. Ah. Oh. And you'd had it at the end of the meal when everything had been deserted, cleared from the table, hence dessert. No. And it was a palate you're, cleanser. You're joking. Really? I'm not joking. No, I'm not. Dessert did dessert that. Yeah. So, well, it also, there's a thought that it comes from Desivet, which is French, but, but let's not. I, we've only, we've done no. O'Carrance. Yeah. We've let's, done we don't one to, French term. We, we can't need to cope with any more. Oh, that sure. one again. So, yes, but so technically, I mean, there's a bit of a class thing in this as well, although, again, yes. it's less of a thing now than it used to be. But pudding technically pudding. is the nice, lovely, sweet thing we look forward to. Mm. Yes. Dessert. If you go to Buckingham Palace, for example, for a state banquet, dessert is a piece of fruit. Oh. But you have had a pudding. And you've had, it. you've had your pudding. Then yeah. you Just get your dessert. Just a piece of fruit for dessert mm -hmm. at Buckingham Palace. That you would eat with cutlery. Yes. Oh, you need like it with a... cutlery? Yes. Although I am reliably informed that even though it's offered to guests, not very many people touch it. They don't mm. bother. Because they're like, I'm not doing that in front of them. No. No. What would you say the <laughs> correct way to serve <gasps> is? <gasps> I'm so sorry. <laughs> is, that a, is that a type of dish I'm not familiar with? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> No, I blame the parents. Mum, it's nothing mm. to do with me. <laughs> Mum is known for serving. What Arthur, are, can you stop <laughs> saying it? What, what? What is this? Do you mean the vagina? No, no, no God no, William. Well, no, don't we... be so rude on our podcast. <laughs> You're the one this, that brought up that this word. This came up. No, uh, well, it's got to be a couple of months ago mm. now. It might even be more. That expression, yes. serving. Mm. Is yeah. a thing in my generation. Is, is a, a positive thing. thing. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 24. Oh, okay. You are younger than me. Yes. 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 God's sake. And I didn't think you were older than me. I just thought no. you might be one or two years out. Yeah. But, no, no. Yeah. 24. 24. 24. So what does it mean? It means you're like, if you're serving C word. Yes. You're sort of like a bad bitch. I can't say it without you swearing. Can't say there's it no without way swearing. to explain it. You know, there's, there's this sassy. type of. Try, yeah, like a sassy yes. kind of. You know, like Meryl Streep, she would serve. Would she? Yeah. I'm just trying to think of women who would. I mean, I've seen Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah. I don't think that was. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it's Kramer versus Kramer. Like the way, no. way you carry yourself, you're sort of the, the, the most what important person. What about Miriam Margulies? Yeah, Miriam Margulies. Yeah. Somebody yeah. I've already. She's very been... familiar with that word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she is. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. uses it, overuses um, it, perhaps. Yeah. But um, I know who you're serves. So... Mm -mm. Is um, Helen Mirren, I would yeah. say. Oh, yeah. yes. You're you don't know, want to get on the wrong real, side of her. You, yeah. Mm. Yes. And she is just mother, kind of. She is yeah. 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 So, although I was horrified when I was told that I did such a thing. It's a very positive thing. It's apparently a very positive thing. So, we, we now call mm. it serving ear. 
Serving ear. Yes. Mm. I don't know why. As in over ear? No idea. No, it's uh, E-A-R. E-A-R. I, I, okay. I don't know why no. that became a thing. No. Well, I'll look it up. Yeah, no, do, do. Be <laughs> careful with the Google. Make sure you <laughs> say oh, serving. Oh, gosh. Yes, no. I don't think I've ever searched for that word no. on my Google. Yeah. No, no, I don't suppose you have. Me neither. They'll probably do a capture thing. They'll think I've been <laughs> hacked. Yes, the thing will come up saying, really you know, you've got to, um, are mm. you a robot? Mm. Click all the boxes that have got... I can never see those bloody boxes. No. They're ridiculous. They Just ridiculous. click on all the ones that have got steps in and I've got to go and find a magnifying glass because I can't see <laughs> them. <laughs> That's useless. It's mummy's boy. Well, speaking of fruit mm. and banquets and all of those things. Indeed. Yes. William has made some videos on fruit etiquette. Has he? And we're going to watch some. Oh, crikey. One. One. Who knows? Oh, gosh. We're going to watch all of them. We're going to watch all every of them. Back to back. The <laughs> omnibus <laughs> edition. <laughs> We're going to be here for the next the eight and a half marathons. hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This is William's video on how to eat a pear formally. Excellent. Here's how to eat a pear formally. First of all, you need a very sharp knife and fork. Yes. Spear it and cut the pear in half. And then cut it in half again so and then scoop out the pips yes place that to the side cut it and do like so here's how to eat oh pear. okay Very simple well i've got to easy say easy you know i can do that yeah that's I, not difficult i think i've probably I think done I'd that struggle. yes mm. and then cut it in half <laughs> Yeah, he'd struggle. I would struggle. I can see what would happen. Do you with like Arthur. a nice pear? I, I'm not big on pears. <laughs> no, don't write your own jokes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just can't believe you didn't pick up on it. <laughs> I didn't. Well, oh no! I no. asked you if you like a nice juicy pear. Oh, I didn't even. I know. I, I, no. I, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Often. You, you, you... <laughs> <laughs> it's that jacket. It's making it's, you feel yeah, like a schoolboy. I, re I really do feel like I'm. Yeah, I'm in detention of some kind. Um, so I was watching one of your videos, and I will admit mm. I see them come up on Twitter quite often. But some of the things I see are actually just the comments. Yes. Um, and they are quite enjoyable uh, as a neutral. Yeah. Now that I, no, I'm not a neutral anymore, I, I, I hate them because they must really frustrate you. I don't really read them. Well, that's good. Well, that's mm. well we're sensible. going to read them so now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If that's all right with you. Yes. We don't have a choice. Yes, okay. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, I mean, they're... They are, they're pretty bizarre. Mm. Are um, they? Yeah. Well, you'll so, be used to weird comments, No, presumably. yeah, no. I'm yeah. not this weird. Okay. No, oh, yeah. really? Oh, no. come on. I want to hear one. But, okay, right. So that's, these are some comments we yes. have here. Um, what is the etiquette for playing Soggy Biscuit? Right. Do, do I need to answer this? What, um, do you know what Soggy Biscuit I do know what Soggy Biscuit is oh. because oh, I Googled be it. Yes. Let's explain Did Soggy you? Biscuit. And it's where if you get a, like a rich tea... Or a ball, but any I think it works with any type of biscuit, but let's just go rich tea. Yes. And you dunk it in your cup of tea. Yes. And it's a little bit moist. And you eat it. Yeah, that is that is uh, it. that's a soggy biscuit. Apparently. Well kind And people of... want to know the etiquette. Yeah. I wouldn't dunk anything. Oh, would you not? No. Well no, maybe when we're going back would. to with the curtains <laughs> closed. Sorry. <laughs> what? What do you like? I don't... <laughs> what? I I don't think that's what it is. Is it not? No, I thought... Well, it would be pretty soggy. No, I know. <laughs> I don't think, I think it's there's a sexual connotation. Yeah. No. Are you going I'd... to lower the tone? No, again? I actually don't know the specifics of it. I definitely do at some point. Can producer we... Jack I... knows. Producer Jack definitely knows. Can we do, can we do it can now? You text... Can you Yes, yeah. of course. Okay. Because I've definitely heard it and I'm thinking that's not what it is. Oh, right. Because you're not, not playing to... soggy biscuit. You just You just got a soggy biscuit there. Okay. Mm, there's no playing involved. Playing. What was the what actual is, question? What is the etiquette for playing soggy biscuit? Oh, play. Oh, so it's definitely not what we think it is. You no. and I, William. Okay. Do That's I need, normal. Do I need to cover my That's ears? Normal oh, types. Yes, okay. indeed. Probably, yeah, I did not yeah. know what this was. Let's just say you were very far off. Okay. Um, and oh. leave it at that, shall we? No. no, no, I want to um, know. Soggy biscuit oh. is a male group masturba masturbation activity oh. in which the participants stand around a biscuit, masturbating and ejaculating onto it. The last person to do so must eat the biscuit. <laughs> Additionally, a participant who fails to hit the biscuit when he ejaculates must then eat it. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I went to boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> 
And we didn't do that. <laughs> No, I think no, that must that be quite is a, astonishing. No, more, well, we didn't um, use biscuits anyway. So no, exactly. No. So what would the etiquette be for that? Um, well, as long as everyone's happy to mm. with any game, whether it's Monopoly or Soggy Biscuit, <laughs> you sort of want everyone to be In, yeah happy enjoying to, it and to happy. play. Yes. yes. No one's um, being forced to play. Exactly. Mm. And as long as you make the rules clear in advance, yeah, and everyone's comprende, that, yeah. Spanish. Spanish. Then, um, yes, it's fine, okay. I guess. But I, it's not... Soggy Biscuit is not a formal game. No, Let's they don't do no, that at Buckingham Palace. They don't Palace do it at Buckingham Palace, no. do they? Maybe it's dessert. Yeah, after mm. dessert, I after think. After dessert. You'd yes. need a palate cleanser, wouldn't you? Mm. You, you would. would. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> Something to taste, take the taste away. Oh, oh dear. Nice chalky digestive. Yeah, all right, move on. Sprinkling of... Thank no. you. No, no. <laughs> no, yes, I've crossed the line here. Yeah, come right, on, Arthur, um, let's have another comment. Okay, another one. What's the proper etiquette for applying hemorrhoid cream at the dining table? Oh, for goodness well, sake. Well, you don't apply right, it. You don't apply any sort that, of cream. That, that, that seems other than given. maybe double cream yes, on your tort. Yes, whipped. Yes. On your tort. Yeah. Mm. But yes. other than that. No, no cream. No that feels like cream. an obvious rule. Yeah. Yes. Um, but, okay, let's say if you were to do it. No, but you're not going to, <laughs> so there isn't an etiquette. <laughs> Just because you go, if you were going to, doesn't well, mean it will not be drawn. It's a matter of life or death. How, what's well, the most polite way to apply the cream? Don't make eye contact. Right, but is there, oh, would it be see. like a one finger? Well, it depends how big an area you're true, trying to cover. Yeah, very true. <laughs> yes, there's much to think about there. I but think. you can also apply hemorrhoid cream to your eyes. It's good for eye bags. That's the old models tip. Because it's really? basically it? hemorrhoid cream is is a depuff, you know, depuffs things. That's the whole yes, point. So it is. if you've got puffy eyes, mm. so you could be applying the hemorrhoid cream on your eye bags, which oh. still wouldn't be correct etiquette, no, but, but it probably would be is more socially acceptable to do it. What a mm. thing! And yeah. there's women who buy, you know, ridiculously expensive yeah those slug stuff things. yeah to put on their face, and they could be using um, a new sole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay next. moving on to mm. these incredible, incredible comments. What's the correct etiquette for taking a number two at a friend's house? Oh. Mm. This is actually, I would Do like it, to yeah. know actually, this. This isn't... Of, of the comments I get, this is maybe, yeah. I mean, it's it's continuing a theme, but it's yes. an unfortunate I'd like, theme. I'd like you to make a video of this, actually. I can imagine sort of it starting with you on the toilet. <laughs> and so, yeah. Looking sheepish. Yes. I'm at a friend's house, and this is how you correct, yeah. I don't mm. know what you would do? No. Mm. Um, is it cor is it correct? Sorry, I'll well, let you talk. if you've got to Sorry. go, you've got to go. It's yeah. probably more correct than holding it inside and causing yourself to have a problem. Mm. So um, you know, it has to happen. But we have little, you know, those little um, poopery little drops that you is can that French put in as the well. Loo. Yes. Is that another yes, French yes, another French Poupery? that you can just pop afterwards. You just pop into the loo water and it just takes away oh. the smell. Does it? And you just have that in your house, just next to the loo. So anyone can use it. So actually, we should all have those little things with us in our bags. I was about bags. to say that. I thought that's what you meant. I think, always I think bring a poopery with you. I'm sure we've done this one. on Sexted years ago, and, and I think there was a girl that carries them around in her handbag because she really? has a real... Because she has a bit of a thing about it. Well, it's quite a good idea. Mm. Mm. But I think better to be proactive and hosts have it just yes. out yes. ready for everyone to so use. So that people feel comfortable about going. Yes. But if mm. you have to go, you have to go. I don't think people should be squeamish about it. No. no, no. Lock the door. But other than that, that's I should think so. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Mm. I often <laughs> forget that. Do oh you? Dear. Yeah. Oh, Arthur. And sometimes I won't check the loo roll either. Oh, you know that has happened quite a few Does times. Does that happen at our to house? you before? No, never. No. Do you live alone? No, I don't. Oh, no. Okay. So luckily, I can sort of yeah, shout <laughs> out my house, like George, <laughs> loo roll. Okay. Just peek the door, grab it. All as well. Oh, oh! Is there a correct way to wipe? Oh, um, like I'm sure medically down, there probably is because you know people. We've had this conversation. Fold. Well, not with an etiquette expert. Well, no, no, no but good I'm, point. I'm an etiquette expert. Right. I couldn't book you <laughs> not to teach me how to wipe. No, no, no you couldn't pay me enough, enough money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll and that's that. no. We'll, we'll come back to that. That's no slight on you. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter who. No, right. There's a limit. Yes. Do you Even fold? the queen. Oh, do you sorry. fold? Do, do you fold the loo roll? Do I fold the loo roll? Well, people what? do fold on, it. On, on, when you're d sort of presenting people. it on the loo roll. No, no, when, when you're using you wipe, it. Before you wipe. I've never thought about it in my oh, life. Really? I thought, I can oh. imagine you doing origami or something. 
Flicking it that into would, a rose yeah. shape. Fleur de lis going up your bum. <laughs> no. <laughs> French okay. again. Yes. You're my word. <sighs> That's interesting, though. Monsieur. Mm, yeah. Um, Monsieur. Okay. Last one. Last one. This is the this is the famous one. Is it? What is the correct etiquette for rubbing one out under the table? Rubbing one out. Yes, and I thought they were originally. I thought they were talking about illustrations. <laughs> and you know, if you of course you did. Yeah, but rubbing one out. I went on UrbanDictionary.com. Nice. Did you? Yes, and I think again, it is euphemism or slang for masturbation. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. I don't God. know why. What? what Which. What yeah. I, is to quote another internet meme? What sad little lives these people mm. have that that is all the, the, that they, they are yes, on about. Indeed, but and I and just I, will not. No, we almost considered doing merchandise for people to buy that said we actually had little. Uh, this is an exclusive for your podcast. Wow. We had little designs made up with aubergines that said, "What is the etiquette for rubbing one out I onto would the love table?" That. I would buy that. Oh, did you? I and I just that decided instant. there was a limit, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> And I've got a book coming out, so I want people to buy that instead. Have you? Yes. Oh. So we didn't want to distract, you know. No, and also, not with an aubergine. No, I don't want to be known for tea, you know. No. What am I going to say to my parents? But that's well, exactly. what's funny. I've realised exactly. reading that out is that that is essentially what I am known for. What? Rubbing one out. Well, I, my, my well, first ever yes, video to sadly. do well on TikTok, but I wouldn't be here without it, was me at the dinner table saying... Another lockdown, looks like I'm going to be masturbating a lot again. And then mum off camera goes, not at the dinner table. And then I say, no, obviously not, in my room. <laughs> and that, and that, went, and that went viral. And then now here I am. Well, people were very bored in lockdown, yes, weren't exactly. they? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I, yeah, so uh, I'm, I am famous for well, well done rubbing you. one out at the dinner table. Oh, I don't know. Well, if you want to do the merch for yeah, me, maybe let I can me know. I've got yeah, the designs. Well, yeah, we can yeah. license them. There we go. Mm. We can maybe combine our... Rubbing one out fandom. Mm. Somehow. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Maybe, no, well, Mum's saying no. Maybe we forget it forever. Mm. Well, that was the comments. Oh, well, they're ridiculous. Fun times. Yes. Yes. They're Sad, ridiculous. tragic lives. Mm. TikTok, a weird place. Strange place. Yes. Okay. It's time <gasps> oh. for the nation's... Favourite game, game, which I'm sure you're well aware of as Blankety part blank. of our nation. No. Oh, no. Blankety no. blank. Blankety the wheel. blank. Two lies and a truth. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it's really good every week. This week, they're all about, of course, our guest, yes. William Hansen. They are. Are you ready? I am. Team. Yes, I'm like a Question. coiled spring. <laughs> <laughs> William Hansen has a Guinness World Record. But what is it for? Is it A, the world record for meeting the most members of royalty in a single day? Oh. Or B, the world record for the longest curtsy relay? <laughs> <laughs> C, the world record for folding the most napkins into crowns in a minute? Oh, God. Wow. I presume during this I'm just meant to sort of yes. look poker face. Poker face. Indeed you yeah. are. Yes. Join us in part two where we'll find out the answer. We'll also be reading your Mum Can We Talk correspondence. Plus, William has a confession to tell us for our feature called Mum, I've Got Something to Tell You. <gasps> Goodness. See you in part two. Yes. Ooh. It's Mummy's Boy. Welcome back. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and the Truth where we were trying to figure out which of the following statements about today's guest, etiquette expert and viral TikToker, William Hansen. This was the question. William Hansen has a Guinness World Record for what, what is it for? <laughs> a. The world record for meeting the most members of royalty in a single day. B. The world record for the longest curtsy relay. C. The world record for folding the most napkins into crowns in a minute. <sighs> this is a tough one. I can see all of them being true. I kind of can. I'd like to see you curtsy. Um, but how do what do we know how I'm trying to work out how a curtsy relay works because you yeah would would, what, would, do you, would, you, would you would he be part of the, the curtsy relay I assume was it one big relay what do you mean I don't know if I'm imagining the right thing well so do you, do you run to one end and then curtsy and then another person runs the opposite way and then curtsies There's and then running involved well then how does it work. You curtsy, what? You curtsy and pass a baton to someone else who curtsies? I'd curtsy and you'd curtsy, then 
William would curtsy, and then Jack would curtsy, and then just keeps I going. I see. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know either. If only we were allowed to ask. If only William not. could tell us. So, um, okay, so... it's royalty in a single day. Royalty in a single day. I can quite see you meeting a lot of royalty in one mm. day, but I'm trying to work out under what circumstances that many members of the royal family would all be together mm. unless you'd been present at maybe the Queen's 90 whatever birthday and there were that many of them if you get my drift mm, I do um, and folding how many napkins the most napkins oh just the most napkins in a minute into before crowns. wiping his bottom oh stop it now <laughs> Bottom, bottom, bottom with bottom, you, isn't it? Right? Yes. Yes. There's a lot of bottom talk. Mm. Um, Your answer, please. No, I know I'm coming. Um, dum, dum. I'm dum, going dum. to go with dum, dum. A. The world record for meeting the most members of royalty in a single day. Oh, I'm going to go for C. What was C? <laughs> the world record napkins. for folding the most napkins. So you think that one was correct and you think A was correct? Yes. Neither of oh, you are God. correct. Oh, curtsy hell. There's the curtsy reading. Oh, oh, flipping heck. In 2012. Wow. That was Can you explain how yes, it works? Please. Yes. So I got a phone call from the what was in effect the London Marketing Board right. saying ahead of the summer of 2012, which was Jubilee and, course, and Olympics, Olympics, commonly referred to as the Jubilympics, could I go to New York as part of a PR exercise <laughs> to promote London, because clearly no one else would have known about it, to teach 100 New York business people oh. how to curtsy in relay to set the world record for the world's longest curtsy relay. So off oh. I went, and we all I had to teach them how to do an official curtsy. Not that there isn't actually anything a, a, such a thing as an official curtsy. Oh, that but, was going to be my next yeah, question. Like a, a royal curtsy, not a not a sort of end not of show. Not an end of show. Because oh, I can do so. a good end of show curtsy. Perfect. Well, but that's a, royal a separate one, record. Yes. Not. It would have been disqualified. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, and we achieved it. And I wow. believe, I haven't checked, we still hold that record to today. Wow. I do also have another Guinness World Record as well for, oh. cream, for cream teas. I don't want to show off. Oh, wow. but go on. We, yeah, we did world's largest cream tea. Oh, in 2019. Wow. Did you? How big in was it? Gateshead, um, <laughs> home of cream tea. Well, yes. Um, oh, there's just lots of people. There were 500, 600 people all having cream tea. Oh, I thought you meant oh, you had the biggest splendid. cream tea. No, 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 no. no, no. Sorry. And yes. did what? Did you organise it? Yeah, I had to teach them all the, the correct etiquette oh, so they followed. Because when Guinness take this, or the Guinness World Record organisation take it terribly seriously. Oh, I bet they do. Yeah, and well, there's they like a criteria. So it, there's no mucking about. It's no. not like, oh, just pay us the money and we'll just give it to you. No, no. no it's... There's a criteria to follow. <gasps> wow. Are we ready for some mum can we talk? I'm not sure William mm. is. I hope you haven't picked awful things, God, producer this could be Jack. Bad. Um, oh, God, look at his face. He has. If you're not aware, this is just when we get our viewers, our listeners to send in stories, anecdotes, questions okay. um, that we can answer and give advice. Advise to. Advice to. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, and it normally goes very well. <laughs> and they're not normally horrible at all. Um, okay, from Mary. Have oh, had we Mary haven't had yet? a Mary. Hello, Arthur, William and Lisa. I come to you with a dilemma. Ooh. This is a long one. Strap oh, yourselves in. Oh. I was a very good student when I was in high school, but when I was a senior, year 13, my friends and I decided to throw a huge party before spring break. Oh, is this American lady? We don't Sounds have spring like break here. Mary. We all brought the well, fire... Well, you went to a prom, so I don't think you, you can No, but start. proms are oh, a thing. Yes. No, that's so no, American. I know, so but they're American, a thing in school, but, they are but a thing spring now. break is very like, woo, spring break! Yeah, we'd call it Easter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we we, all, would. we yeah. all brought the finest, finest stolen alcohol from our parents' liquor cabinets to school that morning. My friend ended up selling weed in some parking lots that morning as well. Oh, dear. We don't condone that. No. No. Not at all. No. Don't do it in the parking lot. It's too obvious. <laughs> After lunch, the guy who sold the drugs was called into the principal's office. Oh. We knew that we would be next in line for interrogation. So my friends decided that I would take all eight of their vapes, weed and alcohol and put it in my locker since they would not be suspicious of me, a good student. Oh. I, however, was terrified. So I put all of the paraphernalia into my boyfriend's locker. 
Oh. Oh, no. That's bad. Mm. I went to high school in Florida. There you go. So there are yeah. always three to six cops on campus. They searched all the lockers. My friend was taken to the police station, suspended from school, kicked oh. off the football team and <gasps> church band, and lost his scholarship to his dream college. Oh, no. Now, five years later, we are having a reunion, and I will see him <gasps> there. I still feel guilty about what I did every day. I lost my first kiss and virginity to this boy, and I truly loved him, and I ruined his life. Do I fess up when I see him? Do you think it will make it better for both of us? Please help. Mary. Oh, dear, Mary. Dear. That's not a very merry story, no, is it? No. It's... no. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I mean, well, you, I, did, a, did, a you did a big thing. doozy there. That's not very good. Yeah, that, no. uh, that is really mm. not good. No. Oh, dear. God. Oh, no, she should have fessed up, if that's the I expression, can't, yeah, so that's, years ago. And he didn't think it was, he has no idea who it was that put the stuff there. Is that what they said? Oh, that poor yeah, but how boy. But how many people had access to his locker? Good Pre point. Presumably, Mary obviously knew the code. Mm. So he's obviously so, a really nice young man who didn't want to yeah. get her into trouble. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. Mm. Suspended from school, kicked off the football team and the church band. Well, the church The church band, band is the one that I mean, gets me the most. Yeah, absolutely. No, the bit that gets me most is Do you is think they he, did Jesus he, Christ Superstar in the church band? No, they probably did, yeah. darling. Mm. Um, that he couldn't go to his... Scholarship. Dream college. Yeah, no, that's awful. Oh, I'd Mary, stay out of his way, Mary. Mary. You, yeah, you did quite badly there. I think you should apologise profusely mm. when you see him at the reunion. Too late. And fess it? up because you basically fucked his life up. <gasps> oh, strong words. I mean, yeah, majorly altered the course of his life. I would say. Well, I'd like to know what's how's he doing now. It doesn't yes, say. Good no. point. If he's doing okay, if now. he's yeah. doing all right, I mean, you don't going, want to play but... it for laughs because. It was wrong that you did that. Mm. And if it's going to help Mary sleep at night, fair enough. Yeah, but mm. she doesn't deserve to sleep at night. Oh, my God. No. Not no. after what she did. Lock her up. Lock her yeah. up. Yeah. Put her away. Yeah. Throw away the key. Send her to Guantanamo. <laughs> <laughs> Dress her in orange. Yes. I mean, he must not be doing that badly if he's going to the school reunion, you know. Really? Is that a sign of success? That... Well, he's not homeless. <laughs> well, he could he be. Could he be. Have, how would he have got the invitation? Hmm. Well, WhatsApp. Then you'd have to have a phone. Mm, true. Facebook. Yeah, word of mouth. Mm. Oh, that old thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe someone was walk walking past his homeless shelter and talking about the reunion. He area. overheard it. Yeah. Mm. I, I mm. would say to Mary, yeah, she probably has to confess, but I'd probably do it at the end of the reunion. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It might ruin it yeah. slightly for everybody yes. if it all comes out at the start. Good luck with that, Mary. Oh, Mary. You were young, so we'll let you off a bit, but it was bad. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm not but you do off. deserve to sleep at night, I think. Maybe you get woken up occasionally by a big noise. A big noise. That's what you deserve. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A <laughs> Not a burglar, though. That's too mean. No, no. that's Just mean. a noise. Yeah. Okay, question okay. two from Joe. Hi, Arthur, Lisa, and William. My boyfriend and I both go to the same university and have a flat together. My boyfriend's family doesn't know he's gay, oh. and they think I'm just his housemate. The other day, after me and my boyfriend hadn't had any time together due to exams and assignments, his mother and his sister decided to surprise him with a visit at his flat because they hadn't oh seen him in a good few months. When they turned up unannounced and entered the living room, I was bent over the coffee table being entered by their son slash brother. They quickly left. Ooh. Neither of us have spoken about this since spoken about it with them since. Clearly they know we are in a relationship now. But my <laughs> <Clearly>. boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> What gave it away? <laughs> But my boyfriend has no idea how to bring up or where to even start. Please help. Oh God, oh. dearie me. Oh, that's really, well, it's really saved. Sad. Well, it's that's the it stuff saved, of nightmares. Saved you one conversation. Mm. <laughs> Just yeah. giving you another really, yes. really difficult one. Yes. Um, oh God, that is hard. I mean, really, they should have knocked, but it's a bit. Yeah, where's bit the late. etiquette? Yes, where was the see? etiquette? Yeah, doorbell. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. actually, they're in the wrong. They are in the wrong, and that, mm. whether that's, you know, whoever they were. Why would the others with? be yes. in the wrong, Mum? Why do you, what do you mean by that? Well, because they, well, because he obviously is going to feel like he's in, in the, the wrong, wrong. Mm. because mm. he was discovered by, rather than, yes. you know. Yeah, that is pretty They entered oh. unannounced. They did. Not like, not, not like his boyfriend. No, exactly. no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Who hopefully, we hopefully was consent. It was very announced. Indeed. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, he's got to be brave, hasn't he? And yeah. he's—they're obviously not going to get in contact. I don't think. 
So I think he's got to be brave, hasn't he? And uh, but I would also I don't the more you make it and it's, it's not look you're in a loving relationship I I would assume mm. um, it's nothing to be shamed about it's legal no. it's not sinful blah 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 mm. this is 2024. Presuming yes. it happened now, it's not a not one you've lost from years ago. And um, <laughs> yeah. I go, sorry, you saw that. Obviously, didn't know you were coming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Awkward. So, uh, bit of news. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> bit of news to back bit that up. News. Yes, uh, Bob yes. is my boyfriend. Yeah. Yes, yeah, not my housemate. Although we do yes. live together. Yes, he's all of them. Yes, he's all yes. of the above. He fills all those boxes. He does, and holes, and holes. Sorry, Blimey. sorry, sorry, Blimey. William. Me. Sorry, smut, smut, um, smut with you. Isn't sorry, it? let us know how that goes, Joe. Yeah, that conversation. Mm. Oh. But that is probably what you should do. It it will be funny in a few years' yeah. time. Yes, it will. If you'll, you end up getting married, it's a good yeah. one for the stank. You'll yeah, laugh about be... <laughs> it. You'll laugh about it at Christmas. Mm. We hope. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, at I hope so. Table, good luck. As you rub one off. Stop <laughs> it. <Right. sighs> it was nice to have some balanced advice. There with him, I think. Very yes, clear was it balanced? Okay. Clear and concise. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Me and Mum often argue about our responses there, but okay. You were the the balance yes, we needed. Yes, you were. Good. Well, that's. Um, I'm pleased with that. And it's Good. now time for Mum. I've got something to tell you. Ah. Oh. Um, this is where we give our guests the opportunity to have that difficult conversation they've always put off having with their own parents, and have it with my mum instead mm. maybe you broke the tv years ago and blamed it on a sibling or snuck out the house when she thought you were asleep whatever it is this is your chance to come clean so william mm. please treat my mum exactly <clears throat> how you would your own mummy i've got something to tell you oh dear william what have you done now can you remember cast your mind back to year two. Oh, and goodness. we were about to have our school photographs taken Yes. The the sort of the group one and then the individual portraits. Did oh, you yes. have those yes. done? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I hated having my hair cut. Oh, As yes. you probably can remember. I do mother. remember. Yeah. You did make a big fuss. Indeed. And so in order to not have a haircut, because you wanted me to have a haircut before these Of course I did. I wanted were taken, you to look smart, William. I went into Mrs. Cook's classroom into the drawer and got some blue-handled safety scissors. <laughs> And I decided to give myself a little haircut. Oh. I had at the time, Mummy, just to cast your mind back, I had a fringe. I didn't have the sort of the spun gold arrange arrangement I've got now. <laughs> it just sort of would hang loosely. But I, obviously, I'm not a, a, age two. I wasn't a hairdresser. Not a hairdresser no. at that age. So I did it. I just cut out one notch. So my fringe went like this. <laughs> and I just had this sort of... Like a little window. Yes, yes, it was like a little window. And obviously I sort of did that and went, oh, sugar, stopped. And obviously went home and you noticed, Mummy, and I blamed it on Ritten Patel. And it oh, wasn't actually no. Ritten Patel at all. It, it was, was me. you. Wow. So and I'm that very, very poor sorry. little Ritten. Yes, he was a very naughty child. Everything mm. got blamed. To be fair, blaming it on Ritten... Safe really, bet. Was, was pretty much that yeah. was safe. Everyone would go, oh, yes. Exactly. Little written, yes, but mm. oh, William, I just been on the farm. What did I miss? Sorry, who are you? <laughs> I'm your father. I don't think you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was told you were from Bristol. Yes, and I'm from Bristol. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he, I heard he, you've been a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Does right. your father not speak like that? No. Oh, there you no. go. Does your mother speak like that? No. no well, glad no. I did that. <laughs> no, 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 but carry on no. with it. I'll oh, go. Right, right. So right. you got haircut mm. by yourself? Yes. To me, that shows initiative, young lad. Okay, okay. To have an entrepreneurial You're good with a pair route. of twos in year two. I could do with you on the fields. <laughs> We're farmers, are we? Apparently. Was, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was what all people from In a Bristol. city famous for its port, we are a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I, yeah, I drink a lot of port, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, right, yeah. Which is always passed to the left. Ah. Oh. Oh. That's how she gets. What do you mean passed? Well, the Why decanter. Pass it? Oh, port. the decanter. Oh. 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 So. Hang sorry, on, I've then. slightly No, psyched. no, no, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, hold, Daddy. Hold that thought. Um, so, 
if I'm sitting here and I've got the decanter of port yes. and somebody over there wants it... It has to go round. Does it have to go all the way round? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, that almost makes etiquette. me not believe in etiquette, you know? That is... Oh, that's, ooh, he's that's just quite silly. cross now. Oh, dear. Don't upset <laughs> William. No, I'm, of course, I always pass it to the left. And you were going to get a five-star Uber rating from oh. me. And now you've let yourself down. <laughs> Damn it. Now it's four stars. Damn it. Mark I'm down still for professionalism. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that for all these years, yeah. I've blamed that poor little written oh yes. God, we're still for that we're still, dreadful yeah. thing that yeah. he did to your hair. And you're, you're now friends with his aunt. Oh. I love her. Mm. She's such She's a lovely. good friend. I'm going to have to tell her. I'm afraid. Well, I think that's... I've come to terms with it. That is the... Yes, but has written. Well, we'll find out. Well, I think we will now. Yes. Oh, William. I'm so sorry. But how many other things have you lied about? That's what worries me. Well, nothing, because that was the only time I misbehaved as a child. I don't believe that for oh, a moment. I believe and that, I'm sure my your boy, father doesn't. My boy would never look hurt a fly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you not remember the time when I was ill? It, uh, it was when I was 11 and a half hmm. and I was off school and that was the only time, Mummy, you would allow us to have a television in our bedrooms. Oh, I do we remember Ill. that. Yeah. That's and good. That's good. you mm. went to the supermarket and bought me back two VHSs to watch. Yes, I did. And one of them was an Adam Sandler film that was rated 12 and I told you off because I was 11 and a half. Because you were 11 and a half. <laughs> and I said that was irresponsible parenting. <laughs> Oh, my goodness me. That's great. That's the sort of child I was. Wow. You were, mm. I you were quite so a child. So I'd like to apologise to you, Mummy, yes. for telling you off, because you've actually done quite a good job raising me. I think oh, I have. I think yeah. I did quite well with you. My other son, <laughs> on the other hand, seems to, have, um, <laughs> seems to have turned out slightly differently. I'm the highest rated driver on Addison Lee, I have you know. <laughs> Oh, we made it to the end. We did. We did. Well, of course, we have to ask the all-important question. Would you invite William round for dinner? Oh, most definitely, yeah. but I'd be ever so nervous. <laughs> no, yes. I'd be ever so nervous. Mm. I think you did very well. Oh, goodness oh, yes. me. It would be a bit terrifying. It would be fun, though, I'm sure. Maybe that's why you don't go out, because people don't invite you, because they're too scared oh, that you're going to tell them off. Yeah, well, I, going back to my parents, the um, when they, they would have dinners at sort of age six, seven or eight, I would be asked to answer the door and sort of take yes. Richard and Isabel's coats, coats and show them through to the yes. drawing room and that sort of thing. Yes. And then, um, and that was lovely. My brother would hate that and would just hide in his bedroom. Oh. And then when I started becoming sort of teaching etiquette and sort of being known for that, I was told I was allowed nowhere near the house because oh. I'd put the guests off. Dear me. There you go. So I was like, well, you wanted my help originally. Yes. Now you don't. Now they've thrown you out. Yes. Abandoned you. Homeless. Homeless. You oh. are that homeless person. I am, mm. yes. Oh, goodness me. But no, thank you, thank you, Mummy, for absolving me of my sins. That's all right, William. And your father. And, <laughs> and you, Daddy. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, thank you very much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. It, it ha really has been a pleasure for it us has. as well. Is there anything you'd like to promote? Oh, yes. I, oh. We, we, there were mentions of a book. Yes, Just Good Manners. Just Good Manners. Oh, yes. Excellent. Which is available on the 12th of September. You can pre order it oh, now. Nice. From wherever you get your books. Yes. E book, audio book, all oh, of Oh, an audio book. book. That would yes. be great. Indeed, yes. They'll be very happy. W.H. Mm. Smith. Mm. Uh, and then I'm also, just the week before that comes out, I'm doing a little solo tourette. Are you? Yes. A Tourette. Oh, a, Tourette. a Tourette. Not a Tourette. No, mm. obviously not. I'm not going not. on stage swearing. No, of Although that would not. be a good opener. It would be, um, it would be They wouldn't unusual expect that. For you. Yes. Um, a little Tourette uh, of the three cities I've lived in London, Manchester, and Bristol. Oh, splendid. Yes. yes. That's exactly Solitary the same I did. Is it? London, Manchester, this year. Bristol. Well, you obviously lived in Bristol because you've got the accent. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, yeah, I did. Why did you go to London, dates. Manchester, Bristol? Other than the fact they're very nice cities. Um, London and Manchester was just like the usual two you do really on a yes. tour, and then I chose Bristol because I put on my story where people would like to see me, and they, the Bristol was weirdly the one of the most common ones. Wow! So mm. Where did you play in Bristol? I played at the Louisiana. Oh, I don't know that. It was upstairs of a pub. It was very small, okay. but it was very enjoyable. Nice. And I really, I had a very good pizza there. Oh, really? Not at the pub, but at, in Bristol, I had a really good pizza. Okay. Well, Bristol is known as the Napoli of the southwest mm, of England. Yeah, no. I, I is just, it? No. I walked up and... <laughs> <laughs> it was at the bottom of a very big hill. <laughs> Italian. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you were just we well, were just well, trying to get oh, another Park Street. Yes. Yes. I know. It, it was really good. And <laughs> I would like to return to Bristol. <laughs> To see it in all its beauty. You're a scream, Lisa. Oh, but thank You're quite you so fun much. too, but I'm I'm strangely yeah. drawn. This is, to your mother. <laughs> this is what strangely happens. Strangely drawn. This is what happens. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. Honestly. <laughs> Goodbye, William. Oh, oh Arthur. no, Arthur, don't. Always remember. Listen and watch <laughs> new episodes. <laughs> He's checking out your channel. I'm just white thinking socks. about the shoes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, which I know. don't go. No, they don't, they don't. <laughs> Look, it's over now, okay? You can switch okay. off, maybe. Okay. Always remember, <laughs> listen and watch new episodes Don't every me, Wednesday. Well. And if you need advice or even just have match. a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. <laughs> and don't forget, you can still buy tickets to the first ever Mummy's Boy live show Yay! at the 2024 podcast show, London, on the 22nd of May with very special guests George Clark and Arthur TV. Just head to at Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in the bio. The bio? The bio. On the bio. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, Royal Waves. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, sorry. It's Mummy's Boy.